Daniel here, 395 Junkie, and we are headed north on the 395, and we are going to do some Eastern Sierra camping, which if you've seen any of my videos, that's pretty much the only place we go. I mean, we do some desert stuff, we do some out-of-state stuff, but uh, my passion, and I can't, I mean, I can't speak for my wife, I know her passion is up here too, and um, so we're going to head up the southeastern Sierra Nevadas. We're going to be uh, fly fishing the South Fork of the Kern River, uh, staying in the Kennedy Meadows area. Um, we might be hopping around a couple different areas, or we might just stay in the same place. We're meeting some friends up there, so uh, we'll have some other vehicles to go back and forth to the river if we want to do different areas. Uh, but uh, it's me and Goose and Isabella wanted to come with us. Say hi, Isabella. And of course, we got our new Overlander, Sierra. Sierra, hey. We got our new pup here, and uh, we're gonna see how she does overlanding. And she does really good in the car, so she's kind of like a baby. She just falls asleep and uh, kind of hangs out. So we're about 30 minutes into the drive. It should be another hour and a half to the turn off. But as soon as we uh, hit the road, uh, turned off the 395, we'll take some more video and. Uh, show you guys what a pretty drive it is. Alright guys, so we're at our trailhead. We're going to air down and I wanted to go over what I'm going to use to air down and this is the Coyote Enterprises um, air down tool and basically what it is, you get four of these things and you just uh, screw them onto your, uh, your valve stem and pull this little plug and then it will air down to a preset uh, uh, setting that you can adjust in here. If you follow me on Instagram or if you've seen any of my previous videos, uh, you'll have seen the uh, four green hoses that I hook up for the up-down air system that I put on here. They're called whips. They go from, I got little uh, valve stems, two on each side that connect the whip from there to the tire. And ideally what it's supposed to do is uh, air, down, air down your tires all at the same time. And I've had nothing but issues with it. Um, when I try to air them all down, they don't air down at the same rate. When I air up, they don't all air up at the same rate. So I called up down air and uh, they clarified. They said, yeah, it's, it doesn't equalize immediately. You have to sit there and wait for a little bit for all the tires to equalize. And to me, that defeats the purpose. And in fact... When we went uh, off road a couple weeks ago, I aired up using the up down air system and I sat there waiting for 10 minutes. And maybe it's because I have big 37 inch tires, it takes a lot longer, but to the extent that I'm waiting a real long time, it's just not worth it to me. The whole point was to make my life easier and uh, a little bit quicker. So I'm just gonna go back and do things the old fashioned way. I can air down with these. I also have another uh, air down tool, which you've seen in videos. Um, and when I air up, I replumbed the Jeep so I don't use the up-down air system anymore. And I have a hose that goes directly from the dual ARB to air and back up. And you guys All you got to do is screw this thing on and then pull this little uh, pin here. And it'll start airing down all on its own.
All right, guys, so we're all aired down and uh, just a little overlanding 101, which I'm sure most of you guys know already. But the reason why you're airing down is, let me see if I can get a good angle for you. Uh, the footprint of the tire, if you can see, it really, you can see where there's a bulge at the bottom. And essentially what that's doing is, it's increasing your footprint by probably at least, I don't know, 15, 20%. So it makes your tire width a little bit thicker. And also what it's doing is it's gonna give you a little bit of extra absorption and cushion when you're going over the rocks that are up ahead and all the bumps. So it's worth the effort, it's worth the time to do. And it's done now, so we are gonna go hit the trail and go find our campsite. Say hi, Sierra. Hi. You had a rough ride up here, didn't you? She threw up a couple times and she seems to be all right now. Hi. Hey there. All right, guys, we have made it to camp. We are in the Eastern Sierra. Uh, and speaking of Sierra, she's just uh, making herself right at home, running around. Come here, girl. We got her little GPS collar on her just in case uh, she decides to run or God forbid we don't watch her for a second or two, but this will track her up to like a couple miles away. So uh, we made it up to the trailhead. It was about an hour and a half into here and we got everything set up. Got the annex set up. We got the toilet set up. We got the hammock all set up, which I've had that in the Jeep for like six months, and I've got another one, and who knows when we'll set that second one up. But So we got all the fun toys set up. We're gonna kind of just settle in, have a drink or two. We're gonna get the fly rod all put together. Getting some uh, thunderstorms uh, to our north, so uh, hearing some loud thunder. So uh, hopefully it doesn't start raining on us, but if it does, we got some shelter, so we're not, I'm not too concerned about it. But uh, we're here, we're happy. I'm gonna show you guys around camp and uh, take you for a little tour. All right guys, so giving you a little tour, uh, Isabella's over here hanging out in the hammock. <laughs> Say hi, it's. Hi. <laughs> what are you eating? Funyuns. <laughs> She's got her Funyuns set up, we got, uh, Got our chairs all set up. Got the Tembo Tusk with the tabletop set up. In case uh, you guys didn't know, Tembo Tusk makes a little tabletop for on top of their uh, scottle. So it makes a cool little table. You can set your beer on there. And we got our Kelty toilet all set up. Ready for uh, business, so to speak. And the Jeep's all set up. Got the iCamper out. 
we got the annex out for uh, shelter away from the bugs and everything else and mama goose what are you doing babysitting duty right now yeah. sierra's uh she's tired she's got energy she's tired she's got energy she's all over the place she's so nervous. yeah she's nervous the thunder doesn't help First trip. yeah exactly so uh we got her all set up and we've got jesse and bill and kayla and jenny down there they're sitting right on the water here, which is a short walk over here. And I keep hearing fish on, so I'm about ready to put this camera down and go see what these guys are doing. But if y'all didn't know, the South Fork of the Kern River is where the, our state fish is, which is the California Golden. Come on, Bill, we're filming. It's your time to shine. <laughs> There, fish, oh, oh, fish on. He hit that fast too. That's a golden. There's a golden. That's a good size. And that there is our state fish. Ain't she pretty? California Golden. Very nice. Everything. Everything. I've cooked muffins on there. I've cooked uh, steaks. Uh, we're going to do cinnamon, cinnamon rolls. I got some cinnamon rolls for this trip. Thing. The apple streusel thing. No, that was in the... Uh, that barbecue thing. But, what do you call those? Oven. Dutch oven. So yeah. Okay. So it's almost like a skillet. So you do <laughs> yeah. Anything. Like for breakfast is awesome because you can cook the bacon. You cook the bacon, tumbo tusk, and then once it's done, you move it to the side, and it's it still everything stays warm here. And then you cook the eggs in the middle, move it to the side, and. Tomorrow, I imagine. What's tomorrow? Thursday. Oh. Uh, it's he's making lemon chicken rice from a recipe from Family Adventures Overlanding. Pasta. Pasta. Yeah. Are those adjustable legs? Awesome. The adjustable legs are awesome. You are not on an even ground right now. I'm not, no. But this is even. And you can tell, as soon as you put the oil in it, you can tell where the center is. Here for days. You need to do a rewalk around. I need to do a rewalk around. I need to do, uh, like, what do you call it? A video with knickknacks. <laughs> a knickknack video? A knickknack video. Stuff. I should be doing reviews. Like, I should have did a review on the road shower, which, by the way, the road shower. Not for everyone. Not for everybody. It's a great product if you have a uh, Tacoma or a full size rig that you're, a truck that you're driving around. Perfect, but on top of a Jeep, another 60, 70 pounds, eh, not great, not great. There's a lot of other ways to accomplish the same thing. So we got the salmon on right now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add the herb infused butter that Goose made at the house. All right, take the lid off. What's in chimichurri? It's amazing, this. No. Open it. What's the red stuff? Trash. Really? Hey, I'm a very important person. No, you're not. <laughs> Whew. Hold on. Please. All right. 
chimichurri salmon hmm. with some uh, wild rice with some chimichurri sauce and uh, you know I didn't get too uh, into it with the video this is real short um, getting some negative feedback on maybe too much cooking so um, trying to do somewhere in between to where you guys can uh, if you have any questions about what I'm cooking and how to cook it either look at Marco's cookbook or shoot me a message so we're gonna get our grub on and uh, we're gonna hang out the rest of the night Good morning. It is Thursday morning and it is 6.30ish, 6.50. Uh, just got finished with a little morning fishing session, early morning fishing session. I got up this morning and sun was just about to rise and I couldn't help but uh, grab my pole and go uh, for a little walk in. Caught about five small browns no goldens yet um, but it was a nice relaxing morning back here at camp going to put on some coffee some breakfast and then we're going to take a little walk about 20 minutes up river and uh, there's a couple really nice areas that we want to hit and do fishing for a couple hours get some good pictures and do some filming for the video but uh, it was a good night's sleep. Um, we uh, met uh, one of my uh, guys that I follow on Instagram, uh, Rocklander, Billy with Rocklander. He's got a really nice uh, JL sitting on 38s. And it's interesting because his wife also has a Jeep and they go Jeeping together. So I thought we were the only crazy ones. Um, but I guess it's more common than uh, I suspect. But had a good time last night, just hung out, went to bed around, went to the tent around 8 o'clock, watched a movie, and didn't get a great night's sleep, but uh, good enough. So feeling good, going to get some coffee on, breakfast, uh, get all my gear ready to go, and uh, I'll shoot some video in a little bit. So uh, should be a good day. Isabella, Brooklyn, and Bronson here helping us make our desserts. What are you guys going to make? I'm making cinnamon rolls on the Tembo test. Very nice. Testing. That's a lot of sugar in the same spot. We need all of this. Ouch, because I have the table. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Ooh, that like looks good. A little... Can I do the next one? Yes. Okay. There you go. You have to cut out the little one. Oh, God. 
All right, so you guys need the scalpel warmed mm -hmm. up. Some in there. Oh, spread them out because they blow up. Oh. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Wait till you guys see them. They're like. Uh, yeah, they fill up the whole pan. They expand. Good thing they're just little, so they can have a little bit of personal space. Is that butter? Oh my god. They can social distance. <laughs> like we need to. <laughs> Without the luxury of being able to have a campfire due to the current fire restrictions, we did the next best thing. We all pulled up a chair and sat around the scottle while Isabella taught Brooklyn and Bronson how to bake cinnamon rolls on the scottle. They had a lot of fun and we all enjoyed dessert together. It was nice to hang out with new friends like Billy and his kids. We enjoyed sharing stories and even talked about a possible overlanding trip sometime in the near future. As the night came to an end, we exchanged fist bumps and said goodnight. This is what the Overland community is all about. Come on. Guys, so we are just uh, finishing our hike up to the weir up here. It's a little bit of a waterfall that holds some of the water back, and it's a pretty little hike. It was probably 20 minutes from camp. Um, Sierra's doing good. Itsy's struggling a little bit, uh, <laughs> but uh, it's a good little hike. If you guys find yourselves uh, up in this area, just go out and explore. You never know what you're going to find, and we're going to keep headed up there and maybe uh, do some fishing. And then we'll head back to camp a little bit later and uh, cook some burgers. Oh. Come on, Sierra. You can do it. There, you did it all on your own. It's a state fish. Sarah, look! Look, Sierra. Look at... <laughs> oh. oh, where are all the buns at? What are you doing, dear? Oh, just getting ready to cook some burgers. Half pound burgers. Ground chuck, ready to go. All right, so got some ground chuck, about uh, half pound burgers each. Just roll them up in a ball and got some of that leftover herb infused butter from yesterday, or actually the night before salmon. I'm just gonna let it sit there. We'll cook three burgers and then do another two in a little bit, but that should be good. Hold your burger. Aye aye, Captain. Fatty burger. I know, look at that. Fleming's ain't got nothing on me. Oh, the buns are like perfect. Uh, this is it. There you go, dear. And it to Itsy, please. Good morning. It is Saturday morning and it's uh, time to go home. It's been an amazing four days up here. Did a lot of fishing, did some hikes, saw a lot of cool stuff up here that we didn't get to see last time, uh, last few times we were up here. So uh, camped in a new spot up here, fished some new locations. Um, overall camping went really well. Uh, Isabella, me, and uh, Mama Goose all fit up in the eye camper with uh, Sierra, so um, that was an accomplishment in itself. But uh, this morning, I'm just kind of get everything wrapped up, maybe shoot some photography, 
maybe shoot some pictures, uh, eat a little bit of breakfast. And, then... and we'll slowly get everything packed up here at camp. But uh, it's been a good little trip and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Wasn't too much wheeling, but uh, was able to get some pretty cool uh, drone footage of doing some fishing. And we did get some of the footage of the wheeling to get back here. So. In any case, if you guys enjoy this video, if you enjoy, you know, product like this that we're putting out, if you can, give me a like, give me a subscribe, and uh, keep an eye out for more stuff that we got coming out real soon. Happy trails.